dear students lipids are a class of heterogeneous compounds that contain hydrocarbons and include fats oils steroids waxes and their derivatives to identify whether a sample contains a lipid or not there are certain tests that we use in the biochemistry laboratory today we will perform three such tests namely the grease spot test the solubility test and the sponification test to proceed with the grease spot test we will require a small piece of filter paper on this piece of filter paper we will place one drop of our sample once the drop of sample is placed you will notice that it spreads over the filter paper and becomes translucent light can now pass through this piece of filter paper the principle of this free spot test The second test that we will perform is the solubility test whereby we will compare the solubility of the sample in distilled water and chloroform. The principle of this test is that fats are generally not soluble in water but are soluble in organic solvents such as chloroform and ether. To proceed with this test we will take a small volume of the sample in a test tube. to one test tube we will add 2 ml of distilled water the other test tube we will add 2 ml of chloroform mix the contents of both test tubes you will observe that the test tube in which chloroform was added gives a clear solution indicating that our fat sample that was present is soluble in chloroform whereas the test tube in which water was added contains two distinct layers one layer contains oil while the other layer contains water this further confirms that our sample contained a lipid the third test is the sponification test the principle of this test is that when a lipid is heated with an alkali in the presence of an alcohol it will hydrolyze to yield glycerol and a salt of that fatty acid the salt of the fatty acid formed in this case gives a soap to proceed with this test We will take 1 ml of sample in the test tube. To this sample, we will transfer 3 ml 
of 0.5 normal alcoholic sodium hydroxide or NaOA. Mix the contents of the test tube and heat it using a water bath. If a water bath is not available, the test tube can be heated directly for approximately 5 to 10 minutes. After heating, you will observe that there are two distinct layers in the test tube. The denser layer contains soap or the salt of the fatty acid formed as a result of this reaction, whereas the liquid layer contains glycerol and any leftover alkali. This test confirms that the sample contained a lipid.